What's going on guys, it's General Tario bringing you the APA Season 6 Week 11 Battle versus Coach Dr. Piplup and the New England Piplups. Now quickly before we go into the battle, make sure to check out the team build to see what I'm bringing and what I expect him to bring. As you can see, I'm expecting the Mega Glalie, Victini, Gengar, Ferrothorn, Alamomola, and Hitmonlee. Hopefully for this game we focus on uh, getting up rocks immediately and then getting Trick Room for x to start it off. And then I decide whether I want to sleep with the uh, Exodrill or Pinsir later on. So hopefully, oh, he brings a few things I wasn't ready for. Three I did expect. Okay, he's definitely leading um, Scolipede. That's probably a Spikes Toxic Pike. Spikes and Toxic toxic Spikes said. Okay, talking is really hard, so I apologize. Okay, just got to change some of these guys around. We'll make this one Haxorus. Oh my goodness, you're too big. And then Mega Glalie will switch out with someone else. There's no Ferrothorn, that's weird. Eh, Ferrothorn. I'll make Scully. Lastly, Mega Glalie's Primarina. I can understand the Primarina. I got a decent amount of things weak to water. Okay. That fairy coverage actually helps him for cure him. He might be like Wakon Barrier, just a bulky set. Okay, so. Definitely expecting the. Uh... Oh, frick. Oh, I was going to send the address back, so I cut instead of... Oh, Piplup sent it. Okay. Uh, so, I'm definitely seeing the Scolipede lead. Uh, for sure. I can freely go into anything with that option. Um, it's either Scolipede or, like, Victini, if that is Scarf. Even though he does have Haxorus, so I'm seeing Victini being more of a um, choice band, since that's probably a um, Dragonance set. That Dragonance is actually going to be quite the problem versus me was considering Hay is my Lodic, but I didn't go with it. So, it's actually a problem. It's probably Dragon Dance, um, Earthquake, Outrage, and then he probably has Shadow Claw in order to hit Bronzong. Lead Bronzong, he led Alamola. I'm just going to go out and get up to Stealth Rocks, because he has no hazard removal. And then they'll be there the entire game. They'll help me against the Victini, as well as the Scolipede. For at least the most amount of damage, and it, of course, just hurts the rest of his team. Surprise no Scolipede lead, though. He was probably predicting a, um... Oh, there goes my Okaberry. Now I don't live any hit from Victini. Now I can do two things here. I can go hard... No, because he can just freely go for a Scald here. Um, what can he definitely do? He can definitely go Primarina if he'd like. I really just want to get the Trick Room off here and go into Explode. I mean, he won't kill me though at this point. Okay. Trick Room goes off. We'll go hard, Exploud. What are you wishing into, Primarina? I can freely get up a sub against this thing, though. Or I just get off damage. I'll get off damage. The only thing that's living on a possible switch in is Primarina. Especially if that's an AV set. But since we have the Trick Room, there's still a chance we 2-hit KO the Primarina. Um, I believe we do not one-shot this Love Disc, so we'll definitely get its Wish off the following turn. But he might honestly just... Is protect his last move. He might just be focusing on stalling Trick Room. 
I'll just stick with the boom burst in case he's not, because he's taking too long. He probably would have clicked protect if he had it. He goes pre marina, this thing will definitely eat it. Yeah. So boom burst only did 38, he's definitely the AV set. So I can do things actually could be more of a problem than I expected. Um, I really just want to get damage off at this point. Just so I can weaken it for later on. Considering he's AV, the only way of him getting health back, of course, is through Alamomola. I probably should have gotten a sub up there instead of going for Boom Burst. Knowing he was going to make that switch. But he does not get... I mean, that might be a roll. But he gets stout speed the following turn. So it doesn't really make a difference. I just have to keep... keep clicking boom burst um yeah he has no switch in he's gotta let pre-marina take this damage be kinda evil but I'm kinda hoping for a crit here he might live a crit still it's, it's a roll since it went from a 38 to a 40 if it was a 40 roll crit it would kill um, if he's calking his Alamomola, he should know that he will be able to live. No, nope. he just sticks with the Moonblast. And I'm honestly just clicking Boom Burst again. I'll let x go down. There's not going to be another case where that's going to go that well. Also, if he tries to make a switch... Like that, he loses his Scolipede. So he overpredicted something there. I don't know what, but I definitely hurt him. So now we have a definite speed threat out of the way. I mean, he can go into anything now, because I'm really letting um, x go down. I'll go for Protect just to troll him. Actually... Hmm. I just know um, Exedril can definitely win the game at this point after a Swords Dance. Okay, so, hmm, I, let's see, I feel, I feel like he has the Z, Z move, because I doubt he specs. I'm gonna go hard Gigalith here. I should live fighting Z, honestly, if it's physical. In that case, I just want to go for the EQ. Let me calc this. I do feel like I live it because Gigalith is pretty bulky in the um, sand. Gengar. Oh yeah, we definitely live it. An Earthquake will kill. So I'll go for an Earthquake, and if he goes into Alamomola, then that'll be somewhat of a problem. Alamomola is actually probably the switch. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's gonna get a free uh, wish in the Primarina if I'm not careful here. I really do just want to go for a Toxic. Because Pre-Marina can't handle an Earthquake after Stealth Rocks. Okay. I click Earthquake here again. Just in case he goes into Pre-Marina. Yeah, I wasn't going to let that happen. Ok, 
Okay, he just goes right back into this thing. He just goes for Scald. I can go hard my Lodic here. If he gets this Scald burn, it will help us against Haxorus. There we go. Now he's most likely going for a Wish here. I'm not really going to do anything versus him. But if he goes for Wish, I should go... Oh yeah, Mega Pinsir wins this game. After a Swords Dance. Hopefully he doesn't go for Scald. Goes for Knock Off, it's perfect. I go for a Mega Evolved Sub. Scald will not break it. There we go. And then I just go for... Eh. I really want to go for the... Does Victini die to a plus two quick attack from here? Because there's a chance he's Scarf. There's a chance either of his things are Scarf, so... I just need to check how much... Okay, I was the regular Jolly. Just check a choice band set, and I'm plus two attack. So Victini will live a quick attack if he's Scarf. But if I get a sub up, then he doesn't break it, so that's best bet. Toxic will bring him down. Yep. Now I get a free return off on anything. Use Scarf Axorus. So I doubt he's Scarf Victini. So that's probably Choice Band Victini. Or life orb. You die to a plus T quick attack. I know you do. Oh, Mega Pincer putting in the work. Come on. There we go. And we know you're not Choice Scarf, and if you are, we can deal with you, so. We get that nice sweep, question mark? Did we just get that nice three sweep? He said he misplayed. I think he kept an out on the wall too long. That was his misplay. Alright, that was a great game. We definitely got that sweep with Mega Pinsir. Milotic picked up another kill with Toxic. And then, um, Xbloud got a kill on... Scolipede and even Gigalith got a uh, Earthquake kill on Primarina. So that went very well that game. It went better than, it, than I actually planned because I was actually very scared of the Victini, but he didn't capitalize that in the beginning of the game, so that kind of benefited me. Um, took my uh, advantage with that um, Trick Room. It was nice that he had that. I believe it was an AV um, Primarina. It might have been just a uh, bulky set, but I believe it's AV. But he definitely worked out with that um, Xbloud, but still we got we were able to get the sweep at the end because I knew um, when I could do it and I made sure I had that sub to uh, make sure Alamola couldn't break it, just like I predicted in the team build. That worked perfectly. So make sure to check out the draft analysis I'm going to have for the SDL as well as the f uh, week one battle that I'm going to have for it. I already played through that and it went pretty well. But that'll be it for this week of the APA. Make sure to sub, like, share, deuces.